Not playing glitch today. Principal's office pretty fast. Not bad. Not, not quite approaching the guild counter. Kind of bad. looks kind of similar. Probably a pretty cool dude. So I'm going to try playing with my attack on bound for now. Or rather not bound to A. Wow, that boom is in an awful position. Freak. Huge loss of time. It's the first time in a quite a while I've had such a bad boom of spawn. Nice trap. I made. So I'd like to get as much experience as possible, but it actually doesn't matter if Creek steals some kills. practice this morning at a uh, very quick barrier. Wish I could get something like that again. Okay, got a couple nice handguns here. Won't be able to use them for a while. I know I thought I would need the uh, freeze trap. I was going to use that, I had to lay it a lot sooner. Wow. Completely lost that kill due to manual missing and automatic missing. I want Creek to go for that one, please. Thank you. That other free strap is out of range. Oh, I am missing just a ton. Alright, I'm gonna hang back a little bit, make sure Creek can take out this Puma for me. Did skip a text dialogue though. But that can definitely be optimized better. Okay, 
Very annoying. Alright, at least he could have killed the roll. Not the cleanest battle trading, but I'll take it. Okay, so I want to hold on to a second handgun and buy a bunch of antidotes. Do buy three anti paralysis. doing the first three quests to get like you can't do any of the other quests until you do these first three you might as well run them first and they'll make the free run forest map forest maps go a little bit faster now we're doing claiming a stake now we're on our own to be a little bit more careful and can't lean on Creek to fix my mistakes for me. Time to pick up some capsules. Gonna have to backtrack for the first one. So far, so good with having attack not bound to A. It does feel kind of weird, but you get used to it. Got a handgun. Deciding whether I should shop. I probably do need to get more mag food. I do need to get a telly, so yeah, we're definitely shopping. At the end of this. Nice damage trap strats.
forget if this actually works. Yeah, blows up too early. So maybe I should save the damage trap and use that on the two boomers here. But then again, it would be the same thing with blow too fast. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I did a double damage trap strat in my last forest missions. Playthrough. Too long to engage the uh, one boom of my damage trap went off too fast. Pipe and round it out with some more antidotes. Don't have to talk to the quest giver here. Yeah, that was not the cleanest claiming mistake. Miss menuing at the very beginning. And I don't think I had any particularly quick engagements. It's also possible but that maybe be like didn't need to shop. Because I already had a telepipe. Been so long I have no idea. And I don't think I have a recording. If I had realized, I probably could have put down some traps and sped that up a little bit. Anyway, Hugh Gast is so inaccurate, I still can't use my handgun. It's going to be like a level or two until I can. Nice crit. Didn't really make a difference, unfortunately. Combat to see on this map. We're gonna fight these three rappies and all good. Just two more boomers. Rappy crossing. Saber. At least not yet. We'd love to see a 15% saber. Anyway, we're gonna take a shortcut after we recruit Eleanor.
from here, I don't think I need to shop. I've got enough mini food. Doing that, we skip like 25 seconds worth of like backtracking dialogue from Eleanor. It's kind of amazing that even with the load times of Pioneer 2, it's that much. Alright, on to Free Roam Forest. Even having a two-level head start is really nice. Like, if we get the bad map, whatever. Looks like the PB had a bad map. But we got the best map, so we're gonna save some time automatically. so I can group these up for a damage trap. Hopefully that's enough. There we go. Oh, I didn't get a uh, trap refill. I guess you don't get a trap refill if you go... If you unload a quest, I guess it's only if you load a quest. I did not actually know that. It's probably fine. Got a one slot frame, so I'm happy. Spawn the wolf, see if I care. do three normals and happy. And just a casual 245 gold. Actually, I guess I must have had the best map once before it said the gold wasn't by that much. Kabuma doesn't usually succeed in uh, taking out that Booma for me. I do confuse trap like that. Oh, they both whiffed. That's really weird. You know what? We'll, we'll check these out. The free telepipe is still kind of worth it. not having a barrier. Wasn't sure if it was barrier or armor, but I guess it makes sense that it's armor.
trying to think of... I don't think I'm actually going to level. Better use my traps wisely. My money is fine because I've been doing quests. Okay, I'm gonna actually have to pop up on a mate. That was close. Oh, the Rappy got out of range. That's unfortunate. Using the fact that the Rappy gives me invincibility frames and it pecks me. Very convenient. No damage trap here is unfortunate. each other. Please come down. Any day now. Nice crit. I'm going to check that box, but I'm already way behind in time. Oh, am I just barely going to get the level, I guess? I guess actually, never mind. The wolf is there, too. Damn, we're fine. Just unfortunate I couldn't delve a little bit sooner and get some more traps. Dragon. Nothing good, saber wise. Actually, marked off handgun, but I can't quite use it yet. Take one more mega level, or one more actual level. Wow, I actually like hit its center. That's really bad. a little off. I don't know the rhythm to have him like automatically fall down again. Very nice, Chris. Okay, that was lucky. So it should be phase two now. Wow, I'm just popping off all these crits.
gonna be right about there. Nice armor. And <laughs> dive loot. We'll take these. Moon Animizer. Ooh, a sword. Way too, of course. Yeah, I'm just not a not an amazing fight. I'm actually surprised I lost that much time, because it, it's not like he actually flew up. could be shopping, but I think there's no real point to rush it. I definitely don't need the resources right now. So, again, the, these quests are not directly related to the Soul Eater, but I need to do these first few quests before can do the actual Soul Eater quests. Neither useful. There you go. She's really into using her staff today. Metha, what are you doing? Does she not attack up the high ground? No, she does. Maybe not that much. Hmm. Need to slow down my attacks a little bit. Matha. I don't think I need to go on a box, on a box binge, when all it's going to be is for like monomates, and I'm going to be shopping after this anyway. <laughs> don't try it, Mitha. I have the high ground. Well, she she didn't try. Welcome into a past dragon or dragoon. Hope your weekend's going well. I've seen that before, but I also feel like it's not something that always happens. But maybe it was just far enough away, or like just enough on the high ground, she didn't think she could hit it. charge again. Okay, 
at least I have to turn a lot there. My inclination was to go for the boxes, but I already said I don't need to go for boxes. Impressed with Mesa for not running into those beams. Oh, it's hoping that was a solidomizer. Boat jump last far long. There you go, Mesa. Keep that mag fed as much as possible. If I can get... Like, my goal is to get the mag to level 35. Because Pilla is actually attainable. And extremely good. Oh, I didn't... Oh, that's... I guess that makes sense. I'm not quite that strong enough to do normal, normal heavy. See if we can get her into fireball range. Wow, of course. It's not going to mess around at 22 HP with that Nanor Dragon. Okay, that's the solid of my Sarah Mind. She won't go for this one either. So maybe she just doesn't like things that are that far away vertically. She'll shoot stuff on the low ground. So verticality is not exactly what's going on there. Alright, I'm just taking this to the waterfall room. slime in this room. This is like an abbreviated version of the best cave team map. No traps in this room either. Shoot the fire. <laughs> she actually killed it with her staff. It's amazing.
Don't know if I've got anything particularly great. Guess I can beat some out of fluids. Maybe they get in here. Oh, she's stuck. I don't even think it's worth going back for at this point. Oh, it might be. There's like one more room. There you go, Nathan. So, unironically, mind levels in the mega are actually kind of good because they'll help me get to level 35 faster. She hit the. Must have hit the uh, trap with her foy. In fact, it, yeah, <laughs> my trap is blocking her foy. Okay, good to know. Don't the traps in front of her. Was one that she put the telepipe down first. I should have known better. I just ran this last week. As force. yet, sadly. Yeah, I think not opening boxes is a good strategy. thing about Cecil, she can't have her spells blocked by my traps. That's something that happens with Foy, but not with Barda. Perfectly not on time for that cycle. But perfectly on time for that one. Question is, is it better to use the sword here at all? This is great teamwork. Usually Cecil's not that good, because the phone him just takes care of business on its own. <laughs> she didn't quite mean that right. see some Barda strats here. Nope, same high ground thing. 
But I think it would take too long to bring these to the low ground anyway. Sadly, I have to leave that antidote behind. It's not time to feed the mag just yet. Hey, two slot frame. Let's go jogging, lose 80 pounds in 10 minutes, or 8 minutes. Oh, I was aiming at my own trap there. Played myself. It's getting, I feel like maybe this is like addicting food where there's a ton of enemies, but that's not what it was at all. Not surprised at the weight loss. Really sweating off those, those pounds there. Alright, one antidote. One anti-paralysis, and then... I guess just keep doing antidotes. in letter from Lionel mode there. A lot of these maps in this game are copy paste modify between the different quests. Some have subtle differences. Wow, there's so much missing. Should have trusted her. Like that. Look at these bardas strats. One more. Perfect. Make sure this guy gets aggroed. It would be funny if they like Shredder getting a little bit skinnier going into Cave 2. So I don't think there's going to be any need to shop after this one. The only reason I would shop is if I thought I could get like a really nice saber. I don't think there's any safe that's going to justify that. Big Bardus Rats. Cecil's never been as good as in this category. Should be able to get one more Mag Feed in by the very end, I hope. Telepipe. I think I'm gonna save this telepipe for the next quest. We're gonna have to unlock the Wong Lei to her telepipe here. Oh, 
And they probably could have afforded one too. Oh well, lose like two seconds, big deal. Yeah, this is the nice thing about the Hucast, very low maintenance. And they can take care of themselves. Oops. Alright, have a happy marriage, Cecil. Alright, secret delivery. If this is phoning, we would do a death warp strat to maybe save four seconds. But since I can't get poisoned, it's really not worth it. I'll give you 45 minutes to do this quest. Even if you, like, explore all the rooms, it's really hard to take up all that time. But I guess they're just trying to make you feel just a little bit of pressure. Welcome in, Saluna. Yes, the saver plus two is actually it might be better. Did not time that right. Did I remember to defeat my mega at the end of last quest? I guess I didn't. Oh well. Try to remember to feed my mag. Got another minute and a half or so. To be honest, that would be a good place for a confused trap in the future. But not so late. charge. Let's make sure your egg road is good. And gun plus three. making me want to move away from this area, but it's just never correct. And that was scary. Alright. Oh, not quite make feeding time. Gotta wait for you. Gotta offset the quest load time. was really that long, 15 minutes.
means I should at least get two more mag feeds, if not three. Probably two. I finally do normal heavy heavy. That would be great. Yeah, only if I high roll. That also makes sense. Nice. I spent more time dodging each other than hitting each other. That's probably the correct play to go for the high roll. Like, worst case, I get crit and get toppled and lose four seconds. Hey, invincibility, very nice. Grinders are very nice. to use on whatever my Kareek weapon is and from the depths. Anyway, who's this guy? Never seen him before. Photon Blast actually might be good on something here, so we'll, we'll hold on to that. Maybe on the way back we can feed. Was just do two heavies to win, but that would be probably unreliable. this trick as if it was any percent. <laughs> Give away level one. Well, too bad we're not doing all missions as a force. Although this would be, I guess it would be like one of the last times you'd want to see that. For it to still count as early. It's usually how this goes, though. Like, when I play Soul Eater categories, that's when I get all the good stuff for an all missions force. Like, my one recorded, or not even recorded, but my one timed all missions plus Soul Eater as a force 
run. It's like 523. And it probably would have been in an all missions world record if I didn't do the Solator quest. That's how good the drops were there. handgun. Love to see that be dark. Or shadow, rather. Finally, night power. Oh, man. That's silly. Oh, I didn't have damage traps anyway. Well. That's fine. Slightly slower backup strat. because there's just so many boxes. Hey, we got a second night power. See? It was worth it. Switches. Might be able to get one more feed in before the end. Oh, 
All right, I'm going to shop this time because we got a long quest coming up, and I want to free up my inventory space. I think Saberless 2 must be better, to be honest. Draw a handgun? Well, we can hold on to that. Slot armor, don't care for now. Hold on to the grinder. I'll buy those daggers just in case I need them eventually. a little bit of time, that's okay. Did a little bit of an extended shopping trip. Now, this is the long quest. This is like the, uh... To be honest, this is like the hump of the... of run. Even though it's nowhere near the halfway point. This is as weak as we are, and the most enemy density we have to deal with for quite a while. It's yet another cave quest, but it's got multiplayer density. Fortunately, I've got a... I've got a sword. They also have traps. Let those guys fight amongst themselves for a little bit. not comfortable. I was going to say, I think he walked enough for that I would get hit by the next beam. Wouldn't get cancelled by the wall. These night powers are so good. It's time to switch back to that one. today. Better sword. Strange. New party. Well, um, sword isn't that great. Okay. 
curious what this is. Armor. Only one slot. That mono fluid out of there. Sword to like one or two shot these is not seemingly reliable enough. Five minutes in and we're barely to the midpoint of cave one. We're making them okay progress, I think. Reliable. I don't think it really have tremendously high defense or evasion. Rather. And a dragon assist. So many misses. Better recover. The damn dragon's just gonna beat me if I don't. one over here still. Like, I'm at the point now with these two night powers that, like, traps are not even all that necessary. It might take longer to set up than they actually pay off. Ability, but I do have a photon blast. And that might actually come in handy on this map. Probably was supposed to bank that mono grinder I've got. Boy one. Hmm. 
Get back here. Oh. Hmm. Didn't think it was time for that already. <laughs> what do we got here? Photon drop. How did you get out of range? shot with the sword is not worth it but it's fun oh nice instant charge new salt misers is mag food too as long as i keep a few for myself Stakers have 10%. Very nice. This is why I'm not worried about getting a brand or not. So I'm gonna have two night powers and extra levels going to tier lane. It makes these daggers pretty good if that's all I'm gonna get. Brand I think is still better though. so strong I don't even need to do the uh, first attack canceling for the most part. Another 12 minutes. Second swing missing. I'll pull my other one. I wasn't watching my HP for a second. Who died to a crit? Same old pattern here. Oh, come on. Oh, there's another one back here. Nifty. I was in definitely 90% mode there.
time to start getting rid of stuff that is not worth anything to me. Take it. The difference between like level 6 and level 9, or even level 7 and level 9, plus a few mega levels, really huge, even though I only have one power level. But having two night powers is also pretty rare for any percent. Guessing my confused traps are better saved. I was thinking about dropping one in the middle here. If I was about to level, I would definitely do that. That's not the beam. That's the beam. I gambled. Not bad. I have no damage traps either. How did that happen? Something kind of cool in there. Alright, I guess. Field trap, even though we. Is there another slime? I guess there must be. Is a heal trap heal ring? Okay. Use trap just for evil sharks. They just die so fast anyway. Another giveaway one disc. Can I get both of these? Very nice. Two for one.
No, not the box. Should could blame the box there. Guess we're just fighting boxes. I'm really lucky I didn't get rooted. Like, twice. Sword would be great if I was, uh... Actually, the range there. Just in time for Photon Blast on this wave right here. No, not this wave. The next wave. Game 2 takes longer than I thought. Hopefully we can be just done soon. Missing, why don't you? It's like three of the last four. Mailing like mailing the nano dragons is so satisfying. Actually, you know what? I don't normally do this, but we're going to check these boxes because, you know, could be brands. No such luck. Losing time to a Shadow Saber Dawn. Just a little early. Okay. Oh, interesting. If you kill it when it's frozen. It's like a dark gunner. It doesn't seem right. I don't think that's how it was last time. Maybe it's because I was in the middle of attacking. Man, I'm glad I remembered telepipes right about now. check these boxes as well. Dang. No level 11 either. I'm 
almost level 10. Slash frame, cool. What's the verdict? It looks like we're losing some time. But not a ton. Pretty impressive to be that consistent with last run. Alright, it's time to do free realm caves. So we're at the mercy of getting good maps. The 818 suggests to me it was probably not the this map, but we'll see. I'd appreciate it if you uh, high rolled and didn't miss. I tried to steal that kill, you saw that. Casually doing 18 to a Nano Dragon. I gambled. I mean, that's what playing Qcast is. Lots and lots of gambling. So yeah, this map is pretty good. Hopefully I can save some time here. Actually, man, I should take that too fast. Even with the proper animation cancel. Well, not really cancel. Okay, yeah, whatever. to the fact that I'm fed you for dex levels four and a half even nine dex levels four and a half ETA bonus so I think I can actually hit 11 before going into day relay Although it might be close. That's a Q cast. I'll take a free time, mate. And a tag grinder. You know, I might even just consider popping those on whatever my best weapon is. If I don't get something good for day relay. Because if I can add 680 B to a weapon, that'll make a huge difference for day relay. Oh, I actually blocked a charge. I thought that wasn't possible. So the only reason I bought this handgun is because it has 
15% altered beast, which is a significant upgrade over just a regular plus three. Like, let's compare here. It's like easily plus two damage there. Plus one to plus two. This is the last swing. What are the odds of that? Totemizer is great, make food. See if these four boxes can give me anything better this time around. Okay, free Telepide. One shot. Worth a shot. Let's see if we can backstab this Mano you know, Dragon. Hey, Cabs is raiding. Welcome in. Thanks so much for the raid. What are you up to today, Camps? More, uh, Blazing Blade? How far are you? I, I know you had to uh, reset it last time, or like week before last, maybe. So have you caught up yet? Although you were near the end, so maybe, maybe not. I might have lost a unit or two. So it goes. Another instant charge. I'm getting great luck. Oh, PSO, yes, indeed. In fact, a lot of people still play PSO to this day. There are... There's a small community for... playing on, like, every single version that's ever been out most popular ones, probably the latest release called Blue Burst for the PC. There's also a lot of people who still play on the GameCube version. And then there's speedrunners like me that just play by themselves. But there's a lot to get out of this game still. You know where to look. And sometimes you don't need to look far because single player mode gives you a nice challenge as it is. Right now I'm doing a somewhat of a meme of a speedrun. Where I'm going to collect the Soul Eater as fast as possible with a new character and then defeat Dark Falls with it. Look at some of this new gear. None of it was all that good. Although I can trade the handgun plus four eventually. Alright, actually saving just a little bit of time. So I guess that was the best map last time. This is not a very nice Cave 2 map, unfortunately. I guess the Hugh cast is interesting because of all the missing that goes on. You are just so inaccurate. Not sure what happened there. Yeah, I failed to press the button there. 
Okay, we're gonna lay a damage trap there, get an instant kill on the Boyfully Slime. Because whenever you lay a trap on the Boyfully Slime spawn point, it'll just immediately die. Regardless of how much damage the trap does, or how much HP the slime has. Forgot that I didn't need to spawn those extras. Just have a little bit of a confusion party now. I have to go out of, like, almost all the bad maps usually involve this little detour to open, unlock a door. Here's the one for this map. Alright, Caps, thanks again for the raid. Have fun eating and showering. See you later. Unfortunately, I only had the one damage trap there. Actually got in my way there. Thank you for the good luck. I don't know, I thought level 11 was only a maybe. Of course I did level 11. Okay, we're just gonna drop that. This handgun plus 8, that's... wow. Only had these percents on the uh, first auto gun that I found. But this might actually be the best handgun I have right now, even for caves. Oh, nice invincibility. So I don't have to back off now. <laughs> I didn't need to anyway. Wow, that guy's HP was less than expected. Let's get rid of these fluids. Anything else to drop? Don't forget this pillar. Definitely need that to unlock the ruins. I think I know what I'm going to use my Photon Blast on. Be next room. Wow, could you? Oh, this is a disaster. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. I killed that Lily in three clean, clean strokes. Another plus seven ATP. Dang, I can like double dagger combo these guys. Okay, but seriously, <laughs> what do I get rid of here?
regular cane. And drop the two-slot frame that I previously... Did I buy that? I think I just found that. I wasn't... I never re equipped my night powers. Wow. So good. So now... Even more powerful. Each night power translates to approximately plus one damage. So I'm actually at a point where I wasn't noticing it. Only losing 22 seconds on the worst map. I can accept that. This map is okay, but there's a lot of pan arms. Fortunately, I've got an anti pan arms weapon. Don't know why I keep doing the third swing. I think I'm always going to kill the lilies in two now. That's actually a very good early walk. So now I'm going to be checking boxes thoroughly. I want to get a brand. Or an autogun, okay. You voted autogun in the prediction. You're a winner because we found that first. all over. Wow, doing 23 of the normal attack. Amazing. I don't even get toppled when the beam hits me anymore. Wait, I do need to check these. And we'll check this anyway. Who knows, it could be four slot armor. I think I'd make room for the brand, that's gonna definitely drop. And get rid of Kane plus two. Heck is on. Getting nice, nice drops for a force. Yeah, Giga Shield's actually good. This is why I didn't buy a core shield. I was like, pretty sure we'd get something good instead from a drop. I can't just immediately cure him. Instead, he went for the rest of him. 
Okay, got the brand. Sick. Gotta drop just the saber then. And just normal, normal, normal this. Nice. Um, let's see. What to drop. Honestly, Gazan's not worth that much. And neither is this armor. One of these swords is not worth much. And Gunblast 2 is not. Alright, Brand. Autogun. Five and a half. This is where Shadow Saber would save so much time because I can just down these immediately. Resto 3, Resto 2. Oh yeah, I forgot to put a damage trap down there. Wow, low rolls. <laughs> A cutter. Wow. Nice rare box drop. And also, who needs to pipe? Not me. Is on. I want to attack. With the sword, hit it three times at once. Be nice if it was a little more accurate. Just stick to normal tanks. Kind of hard to dodge that one. Wow. 
first one was early. Second one was late, so I got hit by two. That prop. You can never really go for the third attack there. The diggers might theoretically get more damage. I think they're too inaccurate. Praise the rock gods for they have spared us getting bonked on the head. I think I do enough damage that I should just pelt it with normal attacks. Wow, that just barely hit me. Can't aim. Well, I got my photon last, but it's the worst time to get in. By the time it actually comes up again, it'll be gone, so we'll just clear it now, I guess. Although I did have. Never mind. I can clear this anyway. I was gonna say I technically forfeited it. Some invincibility frames I could have used to avoid a shot from that. Alright, let's not miss this time. Let's also not get hit twice. That was pretty ugly. So much. You know, I can just reliably heavy attack with this. Oh, that's. Yeah, that's just bad. Getting a little sloppy. Or a lot of sloppy. This is on console, Dragula. And actually, those two things you mentioned are not mutually exclusive. So consoles can still connect to servers. But yeah, this is the offline mode of the GameCube. That, that just that hits me like that. Alright, we're sticking with a brand takers are too inaccurate. Throws off my rhythm that I'm experimenting with them anyway. Okay, one for icing. of being at low level, and that is why this category is kind of awesome, is that we wait four more levels before we fight him. And so even though it's not going fast, 
This is like really fast compared to like any percent. One of these days those bullets will connect and it'll be glorious. Still two attack accuracy off from being able to use auto gun. First thing I'm gonna check in the shop is whether marksman arms for sale. So if I can get that, then I can use auto gun right away. Yeah, there aren't a ton of people that play this out. There are like dozens of us. Nice misses. Dang it. Got caught on the wall there. I'm okay using another mono mate. I actually have two backup die mates. Is it going to be three spikes? Nope, this one again. Five spikes is great. Give me two easy bonus hits there. There's actually quite a few unofficial servers these days. Oh wow. So if I didn't uh, get hit so many times, I could have actually knocked him out during lights out. Or possibly even before. So I lost a bunch of time to being stupid, basically. But it's okay. I'm happy with that fight. And we're still going to save a little bit of time overall. Need the wand, that might be good. I don't know what I'm doing. Wasting time on drops that don't matter. So now I actually lost some time. Yeah, most people that still play this game, you'll find are like. Like anybody who plays this game long term knows. You just have to be patient, so they're all patient people. That's a pretty cool atmosphere. So this cutter's getting sold, but it's actually worth something to sell. First, we'll check what this handgun is. Just heat. I'm gonna try taking it up once for like additional grind. There, see? Not bad. Only 337 for the cutter. That wasn't even worth it. Okay, don't need this. Might hold on to the rod. I mean, uh, the daggers for something at some point. It's a better Giga Shield. Now I can just buy a Parson, and we should do that. And then Marksman Arm, please. Yes. Got so much money. No, I don't need that extra handgun. Well, that's okay. And I don't think, I think some people are under the impression because, you know, it's like Fantasy Star Online that you have to play it with other people, but like watch, look at me, I play it by myself just fine and have a good time. Like the solo experience is definitely different, but it's still good overall. 
Not that the PSO is a perfect game, of course. So why didn't I sell my sword after I got a person? Like, never can use the sword again. Probably should actually equip that stuff I bought. Oh, I should do used normal tech. Well, that's fine. Yeah, my impression is PSO2 has a following, but it's just a completely different game. So. I've always said maybe one of these days I'll try it, but I don't see anything that suggests that it's like a, a real successor to this game. So I've had no rush to do that. So I heard New Genesis ended up not being super popular. I don't know how many people are playing it a few months after it came out. Alright, it's time to recruit soon. Oh, I can mark off Partisan, by the way. So I, recently I played Fantasy Star Universe for the first time on stream, and a lot of people said like PSO2 is definitely closer to that. And in that game there's like more focus on crafting and stuff like that. I don't know about New Genesis, of course, but just like base PSO2. Alright, that's actually the first time seeing the neck this time. The light of New Genesis you haven't played since launch month, and there's been updates. It's not really a great sign. I mean, it looked pretty enough. But I also heard it wasn't doing anything to stand out. And it... No, it's stand close enough there. Alright, Sue. Wow, Sue. Cover me. Better brand. Yep, we're going to Dark Falls here, and the only detour is getting the Soul Eater on the way. And the button, you know, sometimes like shoot at nothing. It's less than ideal. First swing, this is also less than ideal. Sue's actually a lot better as a Hugh Cast companion. Bone just kills stuff too fast, and she ends up being usually too late to do anything effective. Well, she can two-shot with sound. Amazing. Nice sounds. Okay, normally wouldn't have to do this. I want to make sure she gets out alive. Alright, see, so let's go. No. 
No, oh, there were two of those lasers. Wow. Nice, Sue. That gun's actually useful. Um, one thing, unless I print the button randomly, now I lost all the time I possibly could have saved. I had time to try to take a sip of water. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna keep using my guns unless it's on dupe witches. Get him soon. But can she actually one shot those? Guess that was always true. about over. So in this quest you can Sue so will ask your name, yes or no. It's important that I actually get the prompt, unlike all missions where I can skip the prompt all entirely. So we're gonna put our telepipe a little bit farther out. Actually, I don't think I can. So we're just gonna do that. In all missions, it is not required to have her ask you even the question, so you can just, like, pipe out before she does and finish the quest, and you're fine. But to do the soldier quest, it's important that we answer no after she prompts us. Alright, we keyed in no. Spend for us every day to get sealed J sword. You know, a lot of people have. Ooh, that is a really nice brand. Okay, don't need those daggers. Don't need the handgun. I might keep a draw handgun. No. Yes, no, maybe so. Don't need this hand, that thing. That's what I don't need. Look at all these nice discs that don't matter at all. How am I saving this much time? I'm not going to complain, but this is a lot of time save. Something really bad must have happened. That's, that's weird. And I had another 45 seconds to save, potentially. Anyway, it's time to do free run mines. Oh, so you actually got the sealed J sword. That's good. A lot of people never do. Alright, this is the worst ma possible map. And we get a first swing miss. Anyway, I've got good equipment to deal with the worst map, so it's really not the end of the world. Actually does step in for the second punch just a tiny bit. Nice dodge, dude. Oh, I should have checked for like percent auto guns. Did kind of forget to.
It's normally when you go into mines, you only have a sword. And when you only have a sword, you're very likely to miss on the first swing, but I'm pretty much empowered to swing freely and usually not miss. I'm going to drop a Confused Trap on these. I doubt they'll kill each other. But actually... Drop two. I could not have possibly done that worse. I can miss if I actually don't strike in the direction of the target. So that one's on me. So the reason why this map is bad is it kind of makes you go out of the way. To unlock a door, the theme of most bad maps. But it also has really annoying spawns on top of that. Ooh, wow, I can one-shot those. No, I actually was not supposed to. Have I gone out there? make that shot. Yes, it's still this direction, right? Not lost. Not lost. Don't even need free straps to deal with Sinos. So having just a few extra levels on your belt is good for it. And a few night powers and marksman arms and stuff like that. Reminds me, I never marked off the marksman arm. There we go. Unfortunate miss. Ooh, silver. Yeah, same with your trap. That's what you want. I was supposed to get close. I was playing this like glitched. So I thought I knew what was going on here, but I apparently have no idea. Fun fact about Gilchicks, you can punch Kinnigans out of the air. Didn't quite happen this time, but they really can tear into them if it happens. A speed run here. I 
One guy taking his laser out. Not a huge deal. Two though. Very obnoxious. those canadians so we'll stay right here and pick these off oops walked a little bit too far forward these boxes. It's not like I need the money. It could still be good stuff. Alright, so we're gonna confuse trap the back and then the front. And fight this stuff in back. That's the primary wave, all right. Oh, stop with those lasers. Just stop. Oops, a little too close. That was the primary. Maybe not. Ooh, am I. Oh, I might have been small. Nice wand. with those lasers. Guys. Oops. Good boy too. Nice. Okay, I need to fight that other one. I had more traps. Oh, um, <laughs> there's my more traps. Don't need any of that. I'm only losing a minute and a half to the worst map. Unfortunately, this map is also pretty bad. Nice crit. On the bright side, there is like something to use my photo blast on, and it's like literally this wave. Those candidates are gonna dodge it because Farlow is just garbage and does not hit vertically. Okay. 
kind of want that hard shield. Just for the money. What do I drop them? Stick. And that's why I don't need this other sword anymore. Um, how did I manage to navigate that way? Now I guess I can mark my guns. No sinners allowed. How to this five? That might be good. slow down there. That was weird. Part of four. Okay. Get rid of this shift to two and this wand. Didn't see myself pick up these thief legs. That's technically better than nothing. For that fourth slot. on the feeding threshold. trying to ignore you. What am I doing? Reason. Huh? My bad accounting. Now it's ten.
Ooh, that's better than Ethel Ice. Another plus four. Got a soul anomizer refund even. Unfortunately, do not have a photon blast right now. Okay. Pretty sure the ones I need to defeat are in back. Okay, then we'll cyclic. Apparently, this one. Oh, there it is. Not the right one. That's what your phone thinks is a roll. seeing those lasers just a little bit too late. Now, could you guys knock it off? I haven't even seen them. They're just not letting up. Healing. All right, we got some invincibility. That's progress. <laughs> Mind material. Oh, there's another one over here, obviously. That are mods. It's nice, you know. The gold rocket daddy. Very self destructive. Noise is haunting to this day. Okay, and that's not how you're supposed to feel that way. I only lost a little bit of time to a bad map, I can't complain. Yeah. Once you realize that there are enemies that can damage themselves, this game, like, it changes from being like a simple game to like an actually really intricate game, I think. By the way, you can stun lock full opt as long as you can hit. Nope, took too long. 
And of course he's on the opposite side. Well, can I hit you please? Trusty old daughter guy. Alright, these missiles do not actually spawn if you're if they're not on screen. awkward. So I don't want to get hit by blazers here. Won't kill me, but it's a huge waste of time. Fortunately, it's pretty easy to sidestep. Let's do a little circle, and if you're also lucky, and Philip spins around, it will be inside him, enough to not get hit by the missiles. Unfortunately, I wasn't, but... Doesn't knock me over, so it's not a huge deal. Getting stuck inside him like this also doesn't really matter. You're giving him a chance to escape. And we have skipped a cycle. Always oh, awkward when that happens. Fortunately, I reacted just in time, and we got the safety for missiles. Only 5,000 kills to go on your SGS. Those kinds of things I feel are like, once you finish them, what are you going to do? As long as you still have excitement like once you have your TGS, then it's fine. I guess that was definitely a game error. If you're not careful, you can like rush through it and burn out. Anyway, no more lasers. I somehow doubt we're protected from missiles right now. Nice. Okay, all I care about is star atomizer and then some weapons. That's not a weapon. I don't know where the weapons are anymore. Okay, that's actually something I want to check. What did I do to, like, really mess up my view of the weapons? Whatever, we'll just... Okay, it's lesser, don't care. What are you gonna, like, trying to recover? Nice fight. I'm not going to go ahead and do runs. We're going to go do some quests and get our soul eater finally. Got all this junk. I think we 
got another power level there. That is true. I wasn't. I was thinking of glitch, but even glitchless, I kind of know where those boxes are for any percent purposes, usually. Okay, so we've got plus eight on top of. Fourteen, so this should be twenty-two. Definitely. And they're about to run off. So I wonder if breaking my traps remains beautiful. That one is such a good kill. Snakes launchers look competent. Don't think I actually care about that sniper. That's not good. Okay, nice. Sniper swing this. Guess I do have to heal that. Oh, good thing I didn't get crit. I'm playing bad now. Not a lot of drops this time. Okay, I do have one emergency star in the muzzle. Use my hard shields finally. Okay, we can drop the original out again. Only nine levels away from Pillow. By the way, if anyone has any questions about anything in the speedrun speed or anything I'm doing, I am more than willing to answer. Right now I'm just taking it easy, not feeling too inspired to do the play-by-play. -play. My favorite weapon in the game. That's a tough one, for sure. Let me think. Probably some sort of katana. I'm not ashamed. I don't know if there was any katana that was like actually practical. So there's like I think actually the first four slip in Elysium for sure. For looks. Oh, there are three of them. That's right. If you, yeah, heal yourself, Eleanor. I guess I'll just draw a handgun again. I was pretty partial to a daisy chain on blue burst. I'm 
getting so turned around. That's the right way to go. Okay. Much as I like to feed my mech, I think we're going to save it for afterwards. Kind of parcel just to the regular old shot. So that's like a total game changer in like finding your first shot. Or in my case, a cannon. Like really defined my experience the first time I played Fantasy Star Online. Uh, for any appreciable amount of time. Speaking of which, shot. Let's say, uh, Eleanor, you better be. You're into heal yourself. Unfortunately, Eleanor likes to stand in front of Belra's. Can't get her killed, so I'm gonna have. Start on my sword on standby. Finish. Any questions? Are you gonna heal yourself, Emily? Okay, I'm not gonna die to that. Yeah, let's give me those trimets. Unfortunate miss. Use the solar messer because I'm not confident that Eleanor is going to do what I want. Wow, we're still up. This battle was didn't hardly hit each other at all. Shadow. I thought that counts. management. Alright, back to the soul leader quest. The only reason we did Dark Secret Plan is to unlock from the depths, I believe. But now it's time to take a moment with us, go back to the mines, fight Dave really again. But there is a small detour we have to do to get Creek. To show up later. I was like, where's my brand? It's in my hand. Good start. 
So Forest Foam can be kind of obnoxious. So you can move enemies out of range of your spells. Here he's generally a little less obnoxious. As long as he doesn't shoot the thing that I'm trying to aim at very precisely. Oh wow, can I just do normal heavy? Sick. I'm so strong. I like this damage isn't great, but it's it's enough. Sorcerer skin's a good weapon. But that reminds me, Bringer's rifle might be my favorite like rifle. Home helping here is very nice. It's almost like I wouldn't say I have a favorite weapon, but maybe by type I could pick one out. It's a bringer's rifle for the rifle. Or maybe Holy Ray. Yeah, I just have too many favorites. That's the problem. even need the damage trap anymore. Look at this awesome mom support. Clearing the way so I can just take out those do the dupe tricks on my own. Ogre power minus. Sick. Plus 5 on top of what I have. No, it's plus 10 on top of what I have. That's pretty rare. Even though I play Red on most speedruns. I think I've seen maybe one other Ogre power ever. Also really helps that these guild tricks cannot topple me anymore. It could still slow me though, so I gotta be a little mindful. That one's on me, I'm out of sync with mine right now. sure we have to talk to Sue here, so let's not forget that. Better off not getting involved in Dr. Ostis' research. Alright, well, let's go. Go, 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 go. Yes, he made it. Shoot the dubuch, that's fine. Um, right. Don't keep going forward. I was in any percent mode while I fed my mag. Just kind of put on an autopilot. Which 
20% brand has really done work. One rounding Sinnohs. Hard to pull off. Shoot that one then. <laughs> I suppose I should heal. I suppose I should pay attention to them too. He does have a limited amount of items. I've only heard of use two or three. Yep. Wasn't actually going straight in. Still very clean. Some can't interrupt your combo if you never give him a chance to. Saved me. I totally left. I'm ironically feeding the Typhoon to finish off the mind level. Because I'm really just trying to get levels in my mag more than anything. Dark Float's pretty cool. I forget what the Bard Shade looks like in the game, or Bardish, or whatever, however you pronounce it. That's a blue burst weapon, right? What? Oh, the bird is. It's just a normal weapon though, right? Or unless you mean the British with an H on the end. Regular partisans are also pretty cool though. Definitely in my among my favorites of the regular weapons. Maybe not school's diggers though. See sub icon here. Yeah, you're talking about the British. So that's the thing that also has the TJS effect, right? Deplete your photon meter. Do a fancy attack. It's more flashy than practical.
Oops. It's interesting how there's like a lot of density in terms of enemy counts. But in mines that are like all spread out. Ooh, Night Power Plus Plus. This is the other reason why we play Rider has the units you get can be really, really good. I'm glad I haven't seen General Mines. Usually when I play that's when I see all these power units, and I was afraid to be the opposite. Alright, so that's gonna be another plus two. These old dot guns. Canadians. Doesn't really happen in other categories. Ouch. You shot Gnome. One HP off. Free tail blade. Alright, with any luck, I'm gonna get invincibility very early on in this fight. This fight should not take five minutes, but we'll see. Ooh, even shift them. Nice mag. This is why we keep the hungry mag fed. Wow, 73. Okay. Using fire would not would be totally out of the question. enough. 
wonder if I'll be... I should still be invincible enough right here. I think what Unicyclic is saying is, yeah, but... It wasn't vanilla anymore. Oh. Okay, my bits may wear out, but it's not like it topples me anyway. Maybe no reason to keep this around. I think the thing is... People have good intentions when they change a game, but like no one in the PSO community owns the game. So the more things you change, the harder it is to get people to agree it's a good idea. Could have actually died there if like a lot of things went wrong. So I got out. Focus a little bit. And one for icing. Thanks for the beam and RGP unless it's a nightmare. Welcome in. Hope your weekend's going well. Nice crit. Imagine if we could kill it before lights went out. Have to settle for feeding our Meg a little bit more. I mean, I sort of disagree, right? The more things you add into a game, even if they're just quality of life, take away some of the challenge. Or they take away, like, they trivialize things in a way. Like, suspension of disbelief, I think, is still a very important thing in any video game, even if you're not playing it for a story. In this speedrun, if I had a list of enemies on my screen with their current, like, just HP bars, you know, it's a very modern thing to have in a video game, but it doesn't make me feel like I'm on the planet or a goal. It makes me feel like I'm in a good video game. First time seeing three spikes today. Nice crit. Oh wow, it went down. I got it during lights out. Star and Miser and call it. Wait, eh. It's not actually time to split yet. I think the thing to remember in PSO is that there's like no real. Excuse me. There's no real end, right? So if you want to say my goal is to get to level 200, I ask. I just ask people to consider why. Where is Waterfall Tears to use? Okay, in theory, we did all the steps to get Kareek to appear. If you enjoy playing PSO, then whether you're 180 or 200, it doesn't make a difference. It's not like you're not significantly stronger with 20 more levels. This is kind of why I don't play like permanent characters because I don't see that kind of progress as particularly engaging for myself personally. And hopefully I can just finish this quickly. Yeah. He likes to use the foy. It's 
just... It's one of these things. It's like Journey is more important than the destination. Because like once you get to 200, you're going to stop playing. And if I... If yes, then did you... Enjoyed the journey? But this is also why I never bothered getting some to level 200. I think one mid 180s is as far as I went. Took a gamble. Yeah, and that's just it, like, you you can still do things at 200, of course. But I guess my point is, like, at some point, if you just say, like, I'm done playing once I get blank, it sounds like you might already need to take a break. That's just my standpoint, like, I have not played permanent characters in a while. But for me, like, I just play speedruns, so there's no permanent progress. But if I get to a point where, like, once I hit... Like, let's say 130 in 90% glitchless. And obviously I'm already not having fun, and I would quit ahead of time just to compare it. So I think just the act of playing the game, even if you don't find stuff, is fun. That's why you can see me play difficult or not-so-difficult speedruns week, week in and week out. And I hope anyone that's playing online is on the same mind. It's like, finding things is nice, but it's not everything. And grinding's nice, but it's not something that needs to be super optimized. Because if you optimize it, then it's just saying like, ooh, it's not going fast enough. This isn't enjoyable. At least that's how it comes off. But it, it's obviously human nature to like want to get the thing quickly, so I don't fault people for that. I think it's just saying it's also easy to lose sight of what's important in a game, especially when you love. Nice level. And sometimes it's not about the game, it's about the people you play with. But then I think the same thing especially applies, because then the medicine game doesn't matter as much. Like, my fun in Blue Burst, when I played that, was with the other people. It certainly wasn't for vanilla Blue Burst. Or not, not vanilla, uh, single player Blue Burst. the dra Nano Dragon Assist. Oh, I don't have need mag food. I can just feed these, though. Oh, when did we get that? Right, exactly. Like, if you you play this game like looking to like win it, you're just gonna find a boring, repetitive mess. But like, that's why I think speedrunning is pretty cool in this game. Is that yes, the grinding to get good times and you know get good maps is kind of boring. But what's cool is getting the unique experience and getting like a sense of mastery over the game. Doing things incrementally better every single time.
And so, like, if you're running towards the future every day, because you're, like, trying to get to level 200, I think you're missing the point a little bit. But if you're playing towards the future to say, like, I want to finish this one second faster than I did last time, then I think that's pretty cool. That is mag food. was a thing. It's gonna be interesting, like, we're gonna be we millennials, maybe Gen X a little bit, be like, just gonna be like old people that play video games. It's gonna be weird in like 20 years. Or like, it will be a very common thing. Thank you for not casting for me. Don't go in that telepipe. I was actually thinking about it for a little bit. Levels around 11 and a half. <laughs> Excuse me, 11 and a half. Okay. Northeast exit. In North Don Lockdoor. Man, if only I still had my cutter, maybe I could use it right here. awaits. Actually, I think this might be by far the best mag performance I've had in terms of feeding. Like, if, I think I usually get 35 in the middle of ruins, but I might get it sooner. We'll see. Right, my best weapon is still only this brand. Hope I can get a buster soon. Ow. Nice block. I'm 
Oops. Keep on messing up your mags because you actually if you did something wrong. You know what? That's another thing, I think. I'm just going to throw this out there because I'm on a soapbox. You don't worry too much about perfect mags when it doesn't matter that much. Let's see, don't need one of them blister. There we go. I mean, it's cool to have a nice, perfectly made mag. It's also not the end of the world if you have, like, a random mind level as an android. Anything good here? 25% dark brand. Sure. When I go into ruins, I'd rather have more percents. The only annoying thing is that if you're trying to get, like, a special evolution that's... Messing up can be really annoying. And I think the game would be strictly improved through not having... Like, rather through having a way to, like, level down your mag or reset the stats somehow. Keep forgetting that. Doing Black Paper this late means I shouldn't try to attack it from the menu on the bottom. Like, it wouldn't even have to be for, for free. Like, make it take some exotic material, have some other rare thing you can hunt for. That would be cool. So my paper is... Pretty much a copy paste of Waterfall Tears, except no NPC fight at the beginning here, so it's just like the cave map that it's based off of. I got a second marksman arm I could uh, buy a lock gun. I should have been checking for that in the shop, to be honest. So to get a lock gun job, that's very nice to have. goals to get like a buster in time for a creek and then I'll load my grinders onto that. Um, when I say creek I mean creek in from the depths. So I've got a good amount of time still. You hear a lot of people say you don't want to hit on an SGS. Um, is that because SGS when you unseal it loses its head? Didn't think that was a thing, but I could see why they might say that. But SGS, you don't even need to unseal necessarily. You could keep it like that. Wait, is TGS like Kintano or still a sword? It's because Kill Counter takes up one of the slots. I don't know, percents are overrated anyway. Like, yes, they're nice. 
But you're not going to have full coverage no matter what you do. And if you want to play like full coverage of all scenarios, then just play Ranger. We have a million weapons for every niche. Plus two. Remember to unlock the store. Damn, on Gamepy version, they kind of. I think one of the flaws of this game is the late game, and that's part of the other reason I don't do permanent characters, and I just do speedruns in normal mode. So we play late game PSO. Hope you enjoy missing. Even as an accurate class. That was a good, very clean fight. Still have to clear the whole quest, so it'll be a little bit longer. Do normal, normal. Nice. weird. wonder what I was missing. Yeah, Kirikos get slightly stronger every time you fight him. Like in that, in the first fight, I could have probably afforded not to heal in some certain instances. But even though he was only doing like half of my HP there, it's still crit and you can still do a heavy attack. And you don't want to get caught with that. I have not found any escape tolls yet. That actually makes the final fight with Kareek a little scary and like we could wipe. I'm gonna try to make sure I have 10 trimates going into that fight because you might need them all. <laughs> It's like only if you don't have anything good, but I've got like ogre power and lots of good stuff. But that's not gonna be anything compared to a buster. Dang! I want that diamond? I guess we're, we must be at plus 40 now. Damn, stick with the brand in the future. So many misses.
Yeah, imagine hitting level 35 before from the depths. That's not going to happen. Did miss at least one meg feed, but I think it's possible if you are really on top of your meg. Alright, I'll show myself out. It's over. This is actually, like, this is a long category, but if you have any interest in PSO speedrunning, this is actually a pretty good one to get into, even if you don't time yourself to start, or if, like, you don't, even if you have to take a break. This one is actually pretty straightforward, and I think it's a nice, like, learning one. You learn a little bit about optimizing quests, you learn a little bit about the maps. But most importantly, you get to pick up a Soul Eater and use it like when it's most effective. And there's like no replicating that experience any other way in PSO. And like a lot of people, even just casually, a lot of people want to get the Soul Eater as soon as possible. And this is like the way to do it. This would be the home stretch. But I'm actually not feeling too bad right now. Only got like an hour left. A little over an hour left. using my partisan in the cave, so I don't know, this guy split terribly. Another good learning speedrun would be any percent glitch, like, you have to learn how to do the glitches, but that's all in the beginning. And then at that point you can just learn the maps once you're ready. At some point I want to put together some tutorial videos, help people get into this sort of thing if there's any interest, because it's, I understand it's intimidating for sure. Yay, free soul animizer. Jerk dragon. do Soul Eater on Offensively Techless Fomar category. You'll need to beat a week to get world record. Yeah, WR's world record. There are no leader reports for this category, by the way. But there are actually technically two runners, so it's more than more runners in certain categories on the speedrun.com. That last one didn't need to be heavy. If I like fed only soul atomizers, I could have probably finished up those power levels and the defense level and gotten to 35. need to fight this because I am mental my mental fatigue is showing a little bit could have dropped on damage trap there can't like kill that for style but whatever it's too late now at least I guess I run all bosses to maybe kind of justify its existence I've actually thought about that too but it's like episode 2 is intimidating by itself let alone 
of taking more time to do episode one in between. I mean, you can do episode two any percent. You can do all bosses. It's just more time. Okay, thank you for only recovering once. I was a little wor worried about that for a second. I'm going to go check the shop for a marksman arm. Also get rid of some of this chunk. So welcome in, Verilux. Hope your weekend's going well. No marksman arm just yet. Here we can max out trimates. get some of that. Nothing in the shop I need. Your oh. Sunday Safari is having plans blow up and just playing Dread instead. Oh, is Dread. gold. That's pretty good. The only complaint I've heard is that it's a little short, but my impression is that all my trading games are not like RPGs in terms of length, and I don't know how they measure up to other games because I don't play other games that are terribly short either. But if it's like the kind of game that you can play through and then feel like playing through again, then I think like Length doesn't even matter. Alright, so I want to get a buster. It's our first chance to do so in here. Lock gun would also be good, but I can't use it yet. you like things to do. Yeah, that's the thing, like, if you feel like you're breezing through it and then it's over at the end. And there's not a lot of depth, that'd be sad. Alright, this is why I bought this Barson. Just happened to be useful everywhere else as well. effective. Not a soul leader, imagine with. Ow. I take it back. I regret everything. Oh, there's a lock gun. Sadly, I can't use it yet. My first weapon upgrade in quite a while. This cutscene is sponsored by October, the spooky month. I don't know why I thought I could spell it spooky in that amount of time. Oh, I got a dim brand at some point. Oh, it's right, I bought it in the shop. Now. Thanks for swing miss.
He wrecked. Got our assists all day. I don't even know if Dim can actually work on Gunners. Okay, it can. Alright, we're still these guys. Should have known better. Yes, 35. Oh, this is a good confused trap point. Should have laid that down first. That was scary. Could have gotten double hit there. This guy did work. Myself enough space. That was unfortunate. So the nice thing about getting my bag to become Maruto at level 35. So I got the Pillow Photon Blast, which is way stronger. And I can actually hit things in the air on like Farlin. Did you actually hit me? So awkward. Could you go down? <laughs> yep, that didn't mean he finished her. That does not happen very often. Two confused traps for this wave, but felt like a good idea. Meh. That's a waste. Yeah, maybe it was okay. Wrong 
side. I was thinking it was three because of other maps that are similar to this one. The freeze trap would have been a better choice, I think. Optimal trap usages. It, it really is a science, but it's not well understood. Once you get into ruins, it's hard to keep track of all the different variations. Okay, so even when they're frozen, they can stun their allies. Good to know. Oh wow, I don't get toppled by regular Dominions. Pretty cool. Heartedly trying to dodge it, but then I was like, no, nah, I don't need to, right? General find to minus minus. Good meme. I would have appreciated another general power. Or even the first one. I'd appreciate another ogre power. Alright, it's ash time. This will stop ash from getting paralyzed, hopefully. there it'd be about half damage. Which wouldn't kill any bell runs. Actually it'd be like even less. Oh, I forgot to switch to brand. A little awkward. I mean, no, I don't need more mech guns than I already have. Do I can use Brave Barrier now? That's actually good for Creek. Might hit minus one damage. Something I could use dropped there. Oh, 
Look at Ash just taking on the world. Get that premium bag food. Get another power level. Cha-ching. Plus 42. Dang. That didn't work out. Ooh, power material. So that other trimate, it's a little sad. Just like secret delivery, I'm not gonna do a death warp. I could probably set it up by some convoluted means, but it's probably more trouble than it's worth. And a lot scarier because I'm a melee class. Ash's back. Could get paralyzed, and I would not like to see that. I did not play that very well. But I got lucky. Anyway, I guess I should have seen that one coming. For a second, I forgot I had to actually hit those. Persist Thunder, Nifty. Stuck in there. Ow. Got a little sloppy. Honestly, I don't even need the marksman arm. Pretty sure. It's assuming I'm only one mag level away. And I should have time to feed before the end. Maybe even twice. Feels so weird to backtrack here. 
the death warp saves like 20 seconds, maybe 25, maybe 30. So maybe I could have done it. I don't know. What's all this junk? Yeah, hush. You didn't tell me about that. Oh, right. There's this thing. Two trimates, but I guess I don't want to. I want to get that 20th dex level. And we can sneak in here, hit the switch. Sneak on out again, spawn nothing. left is to fight for Dark Gunners. Nice. One dim. Ow. <laughs> they shot an Ash and hit me. Bar to seven. That's actually a really good tech for all missions. Nice combo, Ash. Only Ash used like four in. Alright, coming up to the end of the main mission here. So it's hash relief when we get close to the guild counter. Just gonna fill up my mates. Alright. Don't need me to check. We can use all the mates. We're gonna take the lock on here and do the rest of our selling. I'm being a little indecisive. I want this to be a 25% lock on if possible. Not a 5%. I'll give it one more shot at 20. It's just wasting time. Perfect. Okay, I don't care about. You, 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 okay, I actually don't care about the other gun anymore. What's the other lock gun? When did I get that? Or the weapon? So I didn't get a buster, which is a little unfortunate. I'm going to try saving my grinder for a little so later then. Go to runes two, not the three. Or not to have a full inventory. That's the only reason I kind of decided to do the shop in the last second there. Anyway, I wonder 
who these guys are. Oh, there was a lock on there too, somehow. Overall, I think I'm losing time. This Greek fight is not going to go fast without a buster. heavy in there. That's scary. Right, he hasn't decided to recover yet. Very nice of him. What's he doing? I'm running around Ash. Okay, now he's starting to recover. Sorry, I didn't see that. The question is, what is the Solider? So Weapon Creek is currently using against us. Nice block. Dang. Keeps recovering. This is how brand fights typically go. It'll be a while. Nice 60. Eventually he'll run out of recovery. Of course, eventually I'll run out of recovery too. I think I got a Star Demiser. I'm pretty sure that will work on him if I use it, so I don't want to use that. Be what we would call a lose condition. Yeah, actually missed a combo. Nice crit. And he didn't recover. So maybe we're close to the end. Nice. That actually was not as bad as I remember brand fights being. Losing time overall, but we're almost done. Gonna wait for those. So now it's time to finish the game. So we defeated Kareek in single combat three times, and he dropped his soul leader, and now we're taking in the running. Before he can get up, we're going to finish the quest, and he'll be gone. The fight definitely goes faster if you have a buster. So he doesn't recover as much. Anyway, let's hope for good maps to end the day. Okay. Look at how quick this thing kills. Amazing. Just one combo, like everything. Oops. Put a light there. We even, even get lucky with a crit. Is that damage trap completely redundant? Yes, it is. Very 
everything else there's the havoc lock on. <laughs> Did Twitch give a funny notification? Hey, evade material. Brute force our way through the Dell Saber Shield. I've been getting this map a lot. I think I've gotten this. This might be the last one I played in a different category. Sippers are going to spawn, walk away. Oops. Didn't combo. It's fine. Cool, not using the sweater for just a second. To make sure these guys anchor up. I don't even know why I'm checking these, honestly. Later, not so good on bulk eyes. Don't know, I, went, I guess I know I went over there, but it, it's a silly thing. Different man. Stunner Bill Run. Easy. Why am I using Confused Trap? These aren't gonna live long enough. Anyway. This could be a power material. Okay, that's fine. By the way, you'll see the Soul Eater saps my HP by one every few steps. That's really not a major concern as long as I continue to watch my dream. Like, it's hardly a drawback at all. should recover that. We did not get hit up until now, Mr. Pawn. I made it over here, taking its time. I wanted to see him. Yeah, did not want them to be out of sync. 
Oh, I could back up the dragon. Like I drew it up. Nice crit. Ooh, invincibility. Over here. Tracking to have a very nice time in saving here. Or what I'll use this photon blast on. Nothing really I need it for for this map. Get them to line up the way I want. Hold on. Take my mono mate refund and go. Seven and a half minutes ahead. Yeah, this map is average. This extra time it's dropping. All the HP of the Soul Eater is draining, doesn't even matter. Four hundred seventeen attack power, pretty nice. Honestly, if I didn't have a Soul Eater, I would consider the Photon Blast on this wave. drop for Redrion basically. Doesn't happen very often. I just get less chance to find takers. Oh, and finally hit Buster. Better late than never. Alright, let's not walk into the freeze trap and die. I almost walked into the freeze trap and died. Son of a gun. Yeah, that should have been normal. That's fine. We're good. kind of an awkward position. Never mind, this is a good position. 
would have thought I could hit the uh, the bringer and hit the Dominion sink him outside the room. Good to know for the future that that area exists. So, just a heads up, there is a nice ability on the Soul Eater. The extra attack. Berserk. I'm not using it because I don't want to burn through my recovery too fast. However, we will get a chance to see it. Oh, you have a Braver here. This one could be better, though. It is not. So we can update this. Yeah, plus 13.5. I marked the soul eater. No one called me out on that. Oh, I, I missed. What was that? Like just barely hitting 400, I think. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm taking the right door here. I think about it. If I'm wrong, then I'm gonna feel really silly. But I think this is that one map. Yeah, we're good. Cypress has never been easier. Wow, double gunner assist. Yeah, let's get this out of there. I still haven't found any good thing to use my Proton Blast on. Maybe in Runes 3. Okay, not the best map ever. Only lost 10 seconds. Runes 3 looks like it must have been a terrible map. To have 11.28. Yeah. This is not a great map. Nice. 
nice. There's actually a good way to use a front end blast on, but there's an even better one that I'm gonna save it for him. There's three Bellers coming up, and that would be like one that would naturally use it on. There's like six gunners later on. I really, really, really want to have the Photon Blast for that one. I don't know what to do with them. It's considering using Berserk there. Well, I, was, I actually did try. Um, nice miss. Then I gave it the one shot because I did not want to get hit in the back by a Pell Rock Cannon. When not on full HP. on three, pretty nice. Fixing that once and for all. No, maybe that wasn't the best time to try that. even though I'm not using them. That's not gonna really want to have. Safety tailpipe. I actually should have done that before coming in this room. Oh yeah, we got the gig edge too. So 
carries it in. Oh, these. It was a belt run, but that's a different map. Alright, this is the one. That's a position to well. Missed one. Usually do. Okay, I you. Take that. It's still under seven minutes. Got a few rooms to go. Spell over there. Back into Bella Kennedy. Okay, maybe I should stop doing that. It's not 100% hit. be a way better map than I got last time. But plenty of time to spare here. Occupied a little bit longer. When you can five shot bellows, saving your photon less from them does not matter so much. Right, just three bellows to go. There's no way we're going to need to pipe. We are golden. Wait, I never actually set a safety pipe there. Just do it on principle. I pick up the Mercedes. The Mercedes does not matter right now. Wait, wait, wait. Duh. I am a dummy. Lots of time to save. Alright, safety pipe. I think we're done. Got to put up the prediction for Team Robardo or Team Rafoy. That's okay. We're actually gonna bust out the lock on f until the final phase. position myself ideally. No. Right. He's 
decent opener. Can't expect him not to attack me. No attack, excellent. Excellent. Alright. Don't really be blocked anymore. That's a pretty fast move. H retrain is like the fastest <laughs> attack he can do, so if we if I really overcommit to a combo, like, he could actually kill me. But it's fine. Do insane damage. We don't even level. Four thirty-two forty-seven. 